Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And as always, I'm your host, Matt. And today we're gonna to take a look at the Calypso app. Uh, this is going to be the new forward-facing interface that we're gonna be using for WordPress over the next year and, and years to come. Uh, there's definitely gonna be a shift into the focus on using a desktop uh, app or mobile app at the same time, depending on what device you're on. And I wanted to go over some of the points of Calypso today. You are probably watching this video on the blog post that I made, and I made the blog post entirely on Calypso. It was the first time I've actually used Calypso to publish an entire post since, uh, it's, since its announcement almost, almost over a year ago, uh, back in, I believe, early December, late November of last year. <clears throat> the link is in uh, the blog post. But I wanted to highlight some of the things I like and dislike about the app in its current form. Uh, so let's go ahead and dive right into the app. Uh, first and foremost, when you install the app, it's the app label, at least on Mac, is WordPress.com, which to me really needs to uh, figure out uh, when Automatic and the WordPress community and Matt Mullenweg sort of need to come together to figure out how this branding is going to coexist. Uh, Self-hosted WordPress, open source WordPress, and WordPress.com, uh, and how it's going to sort of blend together in an app-like environment like this one uh, in the in the year to come and in, in future years. So if you're running on self-hosted uh, self WordPress, which is what I'm going to demonstrate today, you do need the Jetpack plugin. If you don't know how to use the Jetpack plugin, what it is, how to install it, I've got some videos uh, on that as well. And what that's going to do is obviously, one, connect the site to the, or allow you to connect your Calypso app to your self-hosted site. Uh, but because of the stats and, and different uh, bits of Jetpack, uh, that data is going to display right in the Calypso app. And that's really one of the areas uh, that I think it really shines with. It's so speedy and snappy and especially the stats, uh, load probably a whole heck of a lot faster uh, in the app than it does on my self-hosted WordPress website. Uh, I'm using a demo site here, so there's not a lot of stuff uh, happening, but it, it is a beautiful display of your statistics. You can hover over these days, click on them, go into those specific days, uh, really drill down to see where your visitors are coming, uh, really becoming a good uh, alternative to Google Analytics. And I don't mean you would switch <laughs> by any stretch of the imagination, but if you're looking for some quick uh, insights and statistics, it's certainly a good um, a good enough uh, app or plugin to do that kind of thing. So I really do like that. Some people might look as using Jetpack as a, as a huge drawback and they don't want to. I mean, I've sort of tried to debunk the myths of Jetpack for a little while now. But you're going to need that uh, in order to connect it and de definitely see the nice little stats that we see here. Uh, you can upgrade through Jetpack to get some more professional uh, services with this. Uh, you can actually upgrade right through the app, which I think is going to become uh, an even more uh, sticking point or, or you know, forward-facing thing as the app matures and as Jetpack matures and they try to find a way to monetize all this stuff. Uh, I think we'll start to see a little bit more upsells throughout this app. I, I hope not, but uh, I think they're doing it very tastefully here. Um, I'm not going to go into all that stuff. I kind of highlight that in my, uh, in my blog post about Jetpack. The writing experience. <clears throat> Let's just talk about that for a second. I've only got one post in this uh, example site, but if you have all your posts here, you can see them all in a, in, in a row and you could click on any drafts that you have uh, off to the right hand side. I found the writing experience to be pretty darn good. Um, I've, I've sort of bounced around ways to um, write my blog posts off for WordPress, use the desk app for a little while from John Saddington. Um, I tried Blogo for a little bit when I interviewed the founders uh, on the Matt Report podcast. Uh, more recently, I've been using the Bear Writer app, which is a sort of you know cross Mac platform writing app where you can do it on your iPad, iPhone, uh, your, your laptop, desktop, whatever. Um, but in Google Docs, of course, when I'm sharing uh, content with like an editor or, or people that I'm sort of collaborating with. But those apps are always, there's always a challenge to get the content, like the copy paste, uh, especially from Google Docs, copying, pasting that into your WordPress site uh, and bringing in all this HTML and, you know, sometimes some CSS is in there, some styling things. You have to go and clean all that stuff up. Or if you paste it as text, then you have to go and format it all over again. So you start scratching your head. Well, maybe I should just do this uh, in my WordPress site. So there's always that challenge, or at least I've found. Uh, Bear App has been the one I've gone to as of late. And I've sort of just, you know, come to the fact that I'll just write it all in Bear and then I'll copy it from there and paste it into my WordPress site. And then I'll do all my formatting. Um, and that's been working okay. 
but this was really good. Um, you know, if I just come in here and say, uh, this is my site title. And it's sort of mimicking the look and feel of wordpress.com. Uh, this is my content. It's just super fast. If I add in um, an image, I can click on that. I can resize it. I can still do the alignments that I normally do. Um, the interface is nice. Like when I go to put in a caption here, I can do something like this, headphones. Um, I just found it to be overall uh, pretty darn fast. Now, you'll see on the left-hand side, the draft is constantly saving. It's saving that to your, uh, to your WordPress site. There was a moment. Uh, I think the blog post is roughly 800 words uh, that I wrote about this. There was a moment where I was writing it and I did get a white screen of death on the, on the app and I did lose uh, a few sentences, almost a paragraph worth of text and that was a little unnerving. And I yeah, chalked that up to, you know, maybe a bug, a uh, random bug that happened. I think I was actually clicking to apply a link and it sort of went white screen. So there's probably a few little glitches uh, here and there. The part where I lost the content was a little scary because I really had hoped that all this stuff would have saved natively. Now the Bear app will never hasn't crashed uh, before, and I would imagine that because it's such a a true native app on my Mac, that I'm not going to lose content as I'm writing it. Um, so I did run into that once, and I am planning on making a more um, concentrated effort to uh, to blog through Calypso um, throughout the year. So I'm sure I'll crap. I'll find some uh, issues along the way. But you're getting all of the same similar uh, formatting options: the visual, the HTML. Uh, you, you know, at any point you can edit the URL and how it uh, appears here. All the normal stuff, and I found it to be pretty darn good. I really liked it. Even all the way down to uh, the preview. If I click on preview, it's going to just pull up. Uh, the actual site and how it pre previews on the site. And that worked like a charm. There's other writing apps that I've used before where the preview button uh, didn't really work that well. Categories, featured image, sharing options, um, you know, editing the slug, the excerpt, all of that stuff works like a charm. Um, the only difference is <clears throat> where, where I think some people who are just like blogging every single day and they're so like used to being in the WordPress admin have that muscle memory of where things are. Everything is on the left-hand side, which is different than <laughs> WordPress admin where majority of everything is on the right-hand side. So there, there are some things that you have to sort of get accustomed to, but it's very minimal. I really like uh, the, I mean, I, I really want this nice, smooth calendar uh, uh, scheduling and preview buttons. I just love it. It's just, there's there's a nice feel to it. They did a really good job on that. Um, and again, I, I haven't had any issues aside from that one on uh, other issues of, you know, writing blog posts, drafting blog posts. They're all right here. Uh, you can see right here, I started drafting um, that blog post and it puts it on the latest drafts column uh, on the right-hand side. I didn't actually click on that. I was just adding another draft right there. So really clean, really powerful stuff. Same thing with the pages. Now, Here's one of the drawbacks, which I'm sure that they'll try to work on in the future is here's a whole bunch of custom post types not compatible uh, with the Calypso app. So if, you, if I wanted to access these, uh, I would actually have to click that. It would then bring me to my site to log in and, and edit these, uh, these custom post types. So that is one drawback. If you're working on a site that has a bunch of custom post types and you're in and out of that uh, all of the time, well, it's not going to really... Uh, be compatible with that. One thing I didn't test, which maybe I'll do in the future, is WooCommerce products. Um, I don't know if that's compatible yet with Calypso, but I can only imagine it will be. Uh, and I'm sure whatever technology they use for that, which is going to be a beast to tackle probably, uh, they'll probably incorporate that into other custom post types in your site. Uh, themes. <clears throat> right now, if you're using a, if you're on a self-hosted WordPress theme, it's only going to look at the themes that are um, that are logged in, that are loaded into your site. Uh, and if you're on a .com site, you'd be able to search the WordPress.com marketplace. Again, I don't know when they're going to make that connection uh, to the .org repo for themes and plugins. Um, there's actually, you know, no way to install uh, a theme out on that repo right now, other than going to uh, clicking the more button, which again will then bring you to the theme install screen uh, of your uh, of your WordPress site. Not a big deal. You're not going to be switching themes a lot, but if you're trying to use Calypso as like this sort of base, uh, home base to set up new sites, uh, that's where it's going to become a challenge. 
Because one thing I, th I forgot to mention at the top of this video is one of the major benefits uh, that you might find uh, useful in your own practice is you can manage, you could connect all of your self-hosted sites to this, your .com sites to this, and then use this as your home base to manage the content across multiple sites. So that's a huge advantage to some people. Um, and, uh, you know, if you're trying to switch themes and plugins, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. But again, super snappy. I can switch out to any of these themes, which is really cool. Um, the menu system, which is a huge pain for some people, uh, just because of the uh, you know, how complex it is. And, and even with the more simplified menu system in uh, WordPress now, this brings it to a whole different uh, level. And this is just really nice and really slick. I mean, the whole app-like feel, it's snappy, it's fast. A little bit of a delay you saw right there as it sort of scooped up all of the content in the site for me to uh, switch around. But really, really enjoy building um, and manipulating uh, menu items with this builder uh, over the uh, self-hosted WordPress uh, core menu experience. Really good stuff here. Uh, and I really, uh, you know, I can't see how they could improve this other than, you know, maybe visually appealing a little bit more. Um, but otherwise, this is a great job uh, with the menu system. Uh, sharing all, I'm going to leave this. Do you have unsaved changes? You shared only this page. Okay. <clears throat> Other configuration settings, again, this is from Jetpack, the sharing options, the sharing buttons. I'm not going to click, oh yeah, people right here would be the uh, admin accounts uh, and any user account that are uh, that are registered to your WordPress site, so you can sort of uh, access that. I don't know if you can manage it, so let's see, invite user, yeah, it's still going to bring you to your, um, it's still going to bring you to your admin dashboard for that, so you're not going to be able to uh, go ahead and do password management or things like that or add new users here. Again, I'd imagine that would be things to come uh, in the future. Same goes for plugins. Um, we can see all of our plugins here. We can activate, deactivate. We can set auto updates to ones that actually have that feature uh, readily available. And we can actually uh, update these plugins uh, right through the dashboard. This is really a, th a, a a site to see because this is really what's going to come in the future. Um, you will eventually be able to manage and update and install all of your plugins through this. And this is the experience that's going to be uh, really powerful as it progresses. Like right there, I've just uh, clicked on update. It's updating it behind the scenes. Boom. It's, it's updated. A little successful mark. It's very slick. I really like the layout of this. This is where it's really going to go in the future, which on the flip side of that is concerning to uh, plugin creators and, and theme authors that are out there because we just don't know what this means for our business in terms of um, distribution and getting people to use our plugins and themes through the traditional WordPress repository. How is it all going to work with this Calypso app? Um, that's some inside baseball if you're interested with stuff like that, things I talk about over on the Matt Report. Uh, but activate, auto updates, remove, see the reviews, um, see all the frequently asked questions and all that stuff. This is really nice. Um, and this would be a pretty big advantage to anybody who is um, looking to do that. If you want to search for plugins, let's say, I don't know if I have this installed already. Uh, well, I got to do WordPress SEO. So the name has changed. Let's just see here. Uh, Yoast SEO. I can just click that and I can install it right here. Boom. It's going to install it. Very nice. Very fast. Really like that part of uh, Calypso. And then last but not least, it's all the settings, uh, the normal settings that you would get in the uh, back end of your site. This is where you can disconnect the site. You want to remove it. You want to view uh, some of your Jetpack settings, but change the site title, the site tag. And I won't go into all of this stuff. Uh, this is stuff that you are that you already have access to or you should be um, you know, able to control in your WordPress dashboard. But just a nice, clean experience this way. Uh, again, a lot of these things you'll know that is going to bring you off-site when you see this little pop-out icon, I, I guess, lack of a better word right there. And that'll bring you to your, uh, you know, that, that whatever that feature is that has to be done in the WordPress dashboard. You'll see that sort of indicated there. Uh, Clipso app. Going to be very interesting to see where it goes in 2017. It is going to be the major focus uh, of growing WordPress, uh, making the whole experience a little bit smoother, a little bit, uh, I guess, better, uh, you know, for us, for publishing and for site management. It's going to be really interesting to see where it goes. Are you using Calypso? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Are you, do you have some uh, positives, some negatives that you want to share? Uh, do you have alternatives that you're using? Uh, you know, desk app, the bear app, whatever it is, how are you publishing to your uh, WordPress website? I'd love to know. It's plugintut.com, plugintut.com slash subscribe if you want to join uh, the mailing list, which you get these tutorials sent out to you. Uh, as soon as I publish them. And if you do enjoy videos like this, thumbs up, share it with friends and family, helps us get found. Thanks, everybody.